Hey! Hello! So, um, doing a bit of a weird video today. Um, uh, mainly because I can and I've, I, I really like doing weird videos. So, um, clearing agents, that's the word I was looking for. They're, um, they're pretty cool. I mean, you back them up, they're only like a quid or something. But what happens if you don't have any? Or you can't get to them, or you can't order them, or for whatever reason and your wine is being incredibly slow to clear. So, I came across a couple, but... These! Eggshells! Uh, eggshells are primarily calcium, which is cool, and uh, the chichisan, or the um, finings, finnings, whatever you want to call them, um, if you look at them, they're actually mainly comprised of shellfish. And that's mainly calcium, so... There is another one where you can use egg white, but, uh, you know, that's egg whites, eh, food poisoning, I think, I'll, I think I'll stay away from that one. So I'm going to be trying to make some clearing agent using eggshells. Uh, funny enough, 12 of them. Uh, I'm not entirely sure I'm going to be using a teaspoon. That's going to be a, a good start. So um, I suppose I should really get started. So, in my first step, uh, as you can see, I like my eggs, so um, I'm just going to put them in here, and I'm going to wash them. So, just cold water, because I want to get the egg white off. But now what we've got is wet eggshells. So, put it in a bowl or a tray, uh, because my oven is a... Uh, Circular. It's easier to put it in one of these. And just dump the eggshells in. Don't have to be too thing, but it saves cleaning the sink too much. So now we've got our eggshells all in here, looking pretty. So I'm going to put this on for about, oh, I don't know, I'm going to say 30 minutes at around 200 degrees. Uh, one, to dry it and to kill any of the, the crap in it and it will make it a lot easier to... because this is not going to do shit if you put it in uh, your homebrew. It's just going to put shells in it. So I'll be back once this is done. Right, so my little oven convection whatever healthy thing is just gone ding. So open it up. It's going to be hot. And it is. Use gloves, because I'm just being lazy. Anyway, so as you can see in here, we've got this very, 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 very hot eggshells. Ooh, yeah. Anyway, so in here, it's changed color slightly. It's a lot more dull. So I'm going to leave this to cool down, and then we're going to do a test. So I know that the normal chips and stuff makes... You can see... I'm going to just turn on this light. You can see that this is pretty damn clear. This is from some... Out of fire I made a couple of years back. It's not very good. But it's a learning experience, so. So I've got this here, which is ginger beer. 8%. Um, I freeze distilled it because I'm not going to use anything decent. That's still hot. Um, and this is basically all the crud that was left of the yeasty stuff. So. And it takes forever to clear. So I normally have to use something to do it. So what I'm going to do is, with this crud that made this lovely bottle here, um, I'm going to add in this. So I've given it a shake and uh, given it a shake and made it all, uh, you know, mix it all back up again. Mainly because uh, it's still going to take forever to settle. So if this can change it to the color it's supposed to be in, I don't know, should we give it three days, maybe five days, since this is homemade? Still, you know, it's taken months for it, and it was only slightly doing it, so we shall see. So, anyway, so I'm going to pour my lovely just done eggshells, which are still really hot. Uh, burnt myself on it. Dick. So I'm going to put these in a cup. Like so. Mmm, yummy. Eggshells. This should be tasty. And I'm going to beat the crap out of it to turn it into a dust. So... What? Right, so to get it super fine, I enlisted my coffee grinder, or you could use a blender. Uh, as you can see, doing it by hand, it is 
you know, this dust like, but I had bigger pieces and I was feeling really lazy. So, uh, I've ground it into this, which is, let's get a spoon. Spoon! I got myself a spoon. Anyway, so, you can see this is mighty fine powder. You can tell on the spoon, I mean, it's super fine. Anyway, so, enough with that. So we want to see if this will clear this. So I'm going to do the uh, lazy man's version of this. So we're going to test out a teaspoon. Remember, this is the total of 12 eggs. So right. So one sort of kind of little mound, you know, just an average teaspoon. So I'm going to do my safety funnel thing, and then just pour this shit in. And we will see if this will clear it. So, as with all the distractions, it says to stir it mildly. So, with actual stuff. So, I'm going to mix the box around. You know, that's the whole point of having this stuff. So, it is completely mixed. And, yeah, not really producing anything, just broth. So, I'm going to leave this. Uh, I don't know, let's put this in the fridge. Why not? We'll give it the best possible chance. And I'm going to check on it, and we'll see if this can actually clear stuff. You know, your wines. It's clearing your wine would be pretty damn awesome if you could do it with just eggshells. As soon as you're buying stuff, you're just going to throw it away. That's the whole point of being free and cheap. Anyway, so um, I'm going to stick this in the fridge, and we'll see how it is.